When solving these linear equations, we need a game plan. Here's our game plan. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify each side. Okay. Sure. Gather, collect, and combine. Ooh, ooh, and stuff of that nature. Uh-huh. Then we need numbers on one side and variables on the other. Okay. Third, we're gonna divide. Fourth, we're gonna check. Check it! That's gonna be our game plan. It's like a little turkey. Let's solve some equations. Okay, why don't we start over here? Mm-hmm. Taking a look at that. I have x plus three is seven. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Numbers on one side, variables on the other. Yeah, I want to use the additive property of equality. If I have something in balance, and I take the same amount off each side, it's still going to be in balance. And here we go. What I want to do is I want to take a 3 off each side. A 3 off each side. Now I'm using this real lazy notation that I'm not a fan of, but you're familiar with. Uh-huh, Adam. Ooh, what's that number that when added to the number, the sum is none? The additive inverse. Yeah. Hey, right. And x is on the right. Ooh, no, no, no. Four. Sure. And then what? But if you don't believe me, check it. Throw that sucker right back up in there. It's four plus three, seven. Uh-huh. Now I'm down here. Okay. I have multiplication. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Division. Well, the additive inverse. I mean the multiplicative inverse. It's the first of your golden rules. What you do on the one side, you must also do on to the other. So if I'm gonna undo this multiplication, I'm gonna use division. I'm gonna divide both sides by two. And they fight! Uh, uh. Now I need to remind you, they don't really fight. Okay, right? What do I have? I have two divided by two, which is one. Yeah, and then one times x is just x by himself. And that's our goal. Yeah. Um, x is equal to eight divided by two, four. Sure, but wait, there's more. I'm down here now. Okay, sure. Um, ooh, here's what I need to do. First, I gotta get rid of the friends, and then I got rid of the more than friends. Numbers on one side, variables on the other. And that's the order that we're gonna go in. Here to get rid of that eight, I'm gonna add eight to both sides. Add it on this side, add it on that side. And it appears to me I have three x is equal to 12. Very nice. Divide. Nice. I'm gonna divide both sides by three. Tee hee, tee hee. Divide this side by three. Divide that side by three. Divide. And you're left with x. And on the right, it's four. Sure. I'm starting to think that all the answers are four. Check it. Four. A box and a flower. I'm gonna take it to the top. Okay, so now I'm looking at this man. How you gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a number on the outside of the bubble. So I'm gonna use the distributed property of multiplication over addition. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes. And I will have a 2x plus 6. Very nice. And that's going to be equal to 14. Oh no! I turned something I didn't know how to do into something I do know how to do. Numbers on one side, variables on the other. 
And yeah, this one is remarkably similar to the last one. So I undo the addition with a little bit of subtraction. Sure, I subtract six off each side. Add them. Um, 2x is, ooh, ooh, wait for it. Wait for it, eight. Great, finish him. Yeah, undoing the multiplication with a little bit of division. Divide. Yeah, okay, divide. And x is four, sure. Mm. A box and a flower. Now I'm down here. Adios, meal. We have a game plan, right? Simplify each side. Numbers on one side, letters on the other, then divide. Divide. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I have any like terms? Like terms are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. Simplify each side. Yes. I have H's over here. Minus 2H minus another 8H is minus 10H plus 17 is 15 minus 10. Oh, yeah. 5 minus 7 H. Shoot. Now I got H's on both sides. One of them on one side. Which side? Don't care. Numbers on one side. Variables on the other. Mm -hmm. Two types of people. There's left siders. Come out and play. Those are the people that have to have the H's on the left. Or there's right or positive people those are the people that have to have their variables positive which kind of person are you hmm i don't know well, i'm gonna be a positive person today okay so i want to move that 10h over there i need the additive inverse of minus 10h 10h yes and what you do on the one side you must also do onto the other so i add 10 H on this side, and I add 10 H on that side. Uh huh. Hey, right. And I'm left with 17 is equal to 5 ooh, wait, plus 3 H. Uh huh. Still trying to get H by himself. Yeah. So I'm going to subtract 5. Subtract 5. There it goes. Bye. Uh huh. And then 17 minus 5 is 12. And then that's going to be equal to 3H. How do I undo that multiplication? Division. Yeah, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. No. Oh, no. Yeah. He did it again. Like Brittany. Um, 12 divided by 3? 4. And then what? Yeah. A box. And a flower. One more. Mm-hmm. I'm on up here, man. So once again, I'm gonna simplify each side. Yeah. On the left, on the left, there was nothing I could do. On the right, however, I could go, I could go, I could go. Okay. And then that's gonna be six x plus two. Oh. And then 6x plus 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What are you going to do? I got x's on both sides. Want them on one side. Which side? Don't care. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to subtract a 6x off each side. Uh-huh. And I'm left with 2 is equal to 2. Is that true? It is, and it turns out this is gonna be true for any x value. And we can write that. Um, infinite solutions or all real numbers. <clears throat> Boxes. And a flower.